Hi everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom Vlog. It's great to see you today. Okay, so today's fun little just quick tip is something that actually someone else brought up on my fan page and I said, wait a minute, I completely do that. I guess I didn't realize not everyone thought of it. So um, it has to do with keeping your desks organized and together. Now this has to do it with if they're all together like in a pod of four or a pod of six. Even if you have groups of two, you could also do this. Um, I also have the other video that I've done. You can go back and look for it, the classroom desk straightening, classroom desk arrangement straightening tip. I have that as well. Basically, you're just going to be putting tape on the floor to, to be able to straighten your desk because the unruly desks drive me insane. So, one way that I fixed that when I taught third grade was when they were in groups of four, I used zip ties. <laughs> zip ties are my friend. I went through stocks and stocks of them whenever I taught uh, a full class in the classroom. So basically all you're going to do is take your zip ties and you are going to connect them because just one zip tie is not going to be long enough to do basically anything. So you're going to connect them to make one longer zip tie and you're going to wrap them around student desks. Now, please forgive, I told you I was not handy. I'm not, I wasn't joking. <laughs> okay, here's my fancy board that I have here. Here are my two desks. Now basically, get my marker out here. Basically what you're looking to do is connect them up here in this area. So you would put a zip tie around here, around here. You want to connect them up and down in the middles there. Hopefully that you can you can see that. So you're going to put it around the desk, the middle of the desk. You don't want to put them near the bottom of the floor where the legs are because when the students move them and rock them, they're just going to get knocked over. So put them up as close to the center in the middle as you can. You're going to connect them and yank it tight. So then the bars will be so close to one another, they're not going to be able to move them apart. Now, the key obviously with these zip ties, they have hard plastic pieces on the end. Take the scissors and just snip off those extra pieces. So, so then you'll have something similar to this. I would even probably trim it down even farther than this, closer to this, this size right here. So that way they don't scratch themselves whenever they have their legs underneath the desk. But anyway, your desk now will be one group. Can they be moved? Absolutely. You're still going to have to straighten them a little bit once in a while, but not to the extent you would if they're not connected. It's a lot harder to move a group of four desks than it is to move just one desk. Now, if you like to change your desk up all the time and move them around, this probably isn't going to work for you because they're going to not be able to get them apart. I found that my students actually change seats if they need to, but they don't necessarily move the desks. The desks will still be in a group of four. So I don't have to worry about moving them. Now once in a while you're gonna have that island guy who needs to come out of the group and be on his own. That's when you just use the scissors, snip it off, snip it and move the desk if you need to. It's really not that big of a deal. And for the price of zip ties, you can't, you just can't go wrong, guys. <laughs> zip ties are so easy. You'll go through tons and tons of them. I suggest the longer ones because obviously you're not going to have to use as many to get around those bars. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. I would love to see a comment about it on the blog, the organizedclassroomblog.com. If you go straight down Below this video, if you're in YouTube, you will see the link for the blog post about this. And maybe you have a cool tip that you use to keep your desk straightened and not all over the place. We would love to hear it. So as always, feel free to contact me. Give me some more ideas for some great teaching cool little tips that you've used in the classroom as well. I've already gotten some fantastic emails. And I would love to see what kind of ideas you guys have that you want to share with the world as well. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.